Barring any last minute change, the national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Dr. Iocha Ayu, will lead the party's delegation to today, Sunday's inauguration of Senator Ademola Deleki as governor of Washington State. Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh, and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. Turn on the post notifications so that you get notified whenever we upload a new video. Give this video a massive thumbs up as well. Leave your comments in the comments section. That is where we interact and share opinions. Without further ado, let's dive into the details of today's news. But same cannot be said of the G5 governors under the leadership of Governor Nelson Wiki of River State. The fact that the governors may stay away from the event provides a new twist to the PDP crisis which started immediately after the party's presidential primary that saw Alaji Atiku Abubakar, who emerged the winner, beating Wiki in the second position. Traditionally, governors of a party of a governor-elect being inaugurated has always added flavor to the swearing-in with their attendance since off-season elections began in the polity. It was gathered that the five PDP governors, namely Wiki, Samuel Otom, Benwe, Okezi, Kuyazu, Abia, Sheyi Makinde of Oyo State and Ifai Ugwai from Enugu had yet to make arrangements to attend today's event in Oshogbo, the state capital, as of Friday night. The five governors had vowed to stay clear of the party's presidential campaign activities until the national chairman, Dr. Iyocha Ayu, si resigns pardon me, from office for a northerner to take over. Ayu's special advisor, media and communications, Simon Imobo, confirmed plans by the national chairman to attend the event. When asked if his principal would be attending the event, Imobo told Newsroom he will be there by God's grace. It was also gathered that a sizable number of members of a party leadership also confirmed their availability to attend. However, the same cannot be said of the five aggrieved governors. They have struck to their guns by staying away from party events where RU is expected to play any role, no matter how small the role is. A source close to the G5 governors told Newsroom it was unlikely that any of the governors would attend. The source who spoke in confidence for fear of retribution said, It is unlikely that any of them would attend. They have absolutely nothing against the brand new governor of Ocean State, Senator Ademola Deleke, because he is joining their ranks as governor. But the concerns of the G5 governors are yet to be addressed by the party leadership. Their thinking is that appearing in public events of any nature with the IU led PDP NWC can be misinterpreted to mean they have buckled. Recall that Governor Mackinde, who was appointed DG of the National Campaign Council for the Oshun PDP governorship election, was unavailable during the campaigns. The Chief Press Secretary to the Oyo Governor, Taiwo Adisa, had at that time explained the absence of his principal. He said it was mischievous for anyone to read meaning into his boss's absence from the campaign flag off. According to him, Makinde had prior engagements outside Nigeria which unfortunately coincided with the flag of. Adesa further explains that his principal made up for his absence by sending a powerful delegation as well as making adequate arrangements for logistics, including VIP movements, to and from the venue. 
with respect to today's Sunday's inauguration. However, neither Adesan nor his colleague in Benue State, Nathaniel, could confirm if their principals would be in attendance. When contacted on Friday, Nathaniel explains that his principal was on his way back home from Port Harcourt. He said, until he arrives, I cannot confirm whether or not he will be attending. On his part, Adisa said it was yet to be briefed. However, none of the G5 governors had as attended any PDP event where Ayu was in attendance since they launched their attack on Ayu's continued stay in office after the party's presidential primary. Recall that Wiki and his four aggrieved colleagues were further miffed by the decision of a PDP presidential candidate, Atiku, to pick Governor Ifan Yokowa of Delta State as running mate. The G5 governor's crisis in the PDP has its roots in the party's presidential primary. At the primary held on May 28th, to 29, 2022, Atiku polled 371 votes to defeat his main challenger, Wiki, who polled 237. Former Senate President Bukola Saraki recorded 70 votes to come third. Governor Udom Emmanuel of Oka, Akwaibom State, pardon me, came forth with 38 votes while Governor Bala Mohammed of Bauchi finished fifth with 20 votes. Hours after results were announced, Atiku and the national chairman of the party, Ayu, visited Governor Aminu Tambua of Sokoto, who had earlier stepped down from the presidential race to declare support for Atiku. Ayu was captured on camera as describing Tambua as the hero of a convention for stepping down for Atiku, its comments did not go down well with Wiki and his supporters. Ayu had, while com- campaigning for elections, as PDP national chairman said, should a northerner emerge as party candidate, he was prepared to resign his position if the party asked him to do so. His position was hinged on the PDP tradition of zoning of elective offices. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a massive thumbs up. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.